metaphysical engine or what Quill did, the seventh episode of series one. It's written by Patrick Ness and starring Catherine Kelly, Greg Austin, Fady Elsate, Sophie Hopkins, Vivian O'Para and Jordan Renzo. As I've already mentioned, this episode sets at the same time as the previous episode, Detained. So this one is following Miss Quill. So while the students are locked in the classroom in detention and ended up outside of space for 45 minutes, Miss Quill went to the hall and met Dorothy and Ballone. So they get teleported in the ship and teleported in few places few times. The first place I arrived in is Pink Forest, which I think it looks pretty cool. While Miss Quill explains her past, we get an amusing scene where Ballone is chasing something. Next place I arrived is Crypt, which kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and Texas Chainsaw Massacre too, which is cool. We learn about Balloon, he's a law, a shape-shifting race, and I like the fact they compared it to Zygons. Next place is Quill Heaven, where she meets Quill Goddess. That Quill race is worshipped, and I think she looks scary and badass. As Miss Quill gets her to talk, Balloon killed her, which is a sad scene. In the school hall, the bit where Balloon took Miss Quill's eye out was pretty gross. I couldn't look at that scene, but apparently he removes her arm out. That's a parasitic creature inside, which are Quill race's punishment by Rodian race. So they have to serve them. Trying to remove arm would kill them. I like the concept of it. It's pretty clever. After Miss Quill and Balloon had sex and woke up, there's a sand on the floor. The school hall was just a hologram, they're actually inside the cabinet of souls. Dorothy gives Quill a gun and told Balloon that the governor's found his niece, but apparently they have to fight or die, so they did. We get a sad scene where Balloon uses a gun but shot himself. Miss Quill wasn't aware that anyone dies by firing that gun, and she gets really emotional. So she grabs one of the souls and her hair grows longer, which is pretty effective. So she got out the cabinet and she's in school. Miss Quill walked down the corridor and heard students shouting and screaming in the classroom. So she saved Charlie's life. And that's the ending taken from the previous episode where Ram, April and Tanya ran off. Charlie and Mateus noticed that Miss Quill's hair has changed. The mark on her left eye with a line like that. And Miss Quill is pregnant, which I would love to see what her kid would be like. So there we go. What did you think of this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. We're now going to the finale.